Hey guys, welcome to the next part of the total surface area tutorial. Uh, we were up to the square base pyramid and if you have a look at the square base pyramid, basically we have a square base and four triangles uh, on each side. So uh, let's draw the net for that. So we have a square base pyramid, a square base each side is the same length and then we have four triangles attached to each of the sides four triangle faces so that's what makes up the square base pyramid and as you can imagine each triangle will have the same perpendicular height so the perpendicular height of the triangle would be here and it makes the right angle with the base and uh, so we have the base and the perpendicular height actually let's write that in capital H so we have the base and the perpendicular height so basically the formula for the square, square base pyramid is just the area of the square which is the base plus the area of the four triangles uh, the area of the square base is uh, b times b so it's b squared plus the area of the four triangles now if you remember the uh, area of one triangle is half times base times height now because there's four of them we're going to multiply that by four okay so that's the formula for the uh, square base pyramids uh, total surface area and let's assign some values to these lengths let's say the base is three centimeters and the height is six centimeters so then it'll just be three squared plus half times three times six times four put all of that in the calculator which equals uh, 45 centimeters squared so that is the square base pyramid now we're going to deal with the total surface area of a cone and the measurements that you need for that is uh, the radius of the circle and the slant height of the cone and instead of going into detail about um, the uh, how the formula has come about I'm just going to give you the formula so the total surface total surface area of a cone is simply area of base which is the circle area of circle plus the area of the curved surface curved surface an area of the circle as you can imagine is uh, pi r squared now the area of the curved surface instead of going into detail about how it's how the formula was uh, made up I'm just gonna tell it to you because it's pretty easy to remember it's just pi r s s is the slant height so if you sort of just remember as uh, instead of a circle we have a slant height we have to find the area of the slanted surface so instead of pi r squared it's going to be pi r s uh, sl s for slanted surface and I think that will be easier to remember than trying to understand the theory about how it works so basically uh, if the radius was uh, let's say 
the radius equals uh, 10 centimeters and the slant height is 20 centimeters so the total surface area of the cone would just be pi times 10 squared plus pi times 10 times 20 and putting all that in the calculator I'll show you how to type this one in so we have pi times 10 times 10 plus pi times 10 times 20 and that equals 942.5 so 942.5 centimeter squared rounded to one decimal place so that is the total surface area of a cone and the last shape that we're going to do is a sphere so the total area total surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared again the reasoning behind that is a bit complicated so let's just try and memorize that 4 pi r squared for the total surface area of a sphere um, so the only measurement you need is the radius which is halfway between the center and the outside the circumference of the sphere so the total surface area is 4 times pi times let's make the radius um, 2 centimeters so we got 2 squared so 4 times pi times 2 squared 4 times pi times 2 times 2 the answer is 50.3 centimeters squared so again the hard part is memorizing the formula um, once you have the formula the rest of it is pretty easy okay the hemisphere uh, so the hemisphere, hemisphere, if you remember, is just a sphere cut in half. So wherever you, so if you cut the sphere down the middle here, if you cut it down the middle, you end up with a circle as the cross section, and you have the uh, bottom half of the sphere. So obviously the TSA will just be instead of 4 pi r squared we only have half of it which is 2 pi r squared now depending on if the hemisphere has a lid now if the top of the hemisphere is a lid so this part is covered then you also need to add on the area of the flat circle okay otherwise you don't need to worry about it so it depends on what the question says if the hemisphere is closed or open so we have an open hemisphere which doesn't have a lid so that's open and this is closed which has a, a lid <clears throat> so let's do a closed hemisphere so uh, we do need the uh, pi r squared in the end for the lid oops um, hang on a second so we have uh, let's say the radius is again 2 centimeters so we have 2 times pi times 2 squared plus pi times 2 squared putting all that in the calculator the answer is 37.7 centimeters squared okay so that concludes our tutorial on uh, finding the surface area of 3d shapes thanks for watching